Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing off all the free games to come out this month for PS Plus to the Epic Game Store. No, this is not free to play games. These games are given out via a service that are yours to keep or as long as you're subscribed to whatever you're using. I also have Nintendo in here as well, but I might not bring them back unless I'm told to do so as their free games are, well, look, let's just say that some of the titles given out were not top tier when they were released. So with that being said, let's get to Epic Game Store. First on the list because these games are yours to keep no matter what, and a lot of people miss out on them. First is A Plague's Tale Innocence. This game was free for Plus not too long ago, and now it's free again. This is a stellar title where you solve stealth puzzles and roam your way through a rat infested world with a child in hand. This game is too good to miss out on, so pick it up while you can as it leaves the store on August 12th. With that, we have Minet an adventure title that takes place every 60 seconds. In this world, that looks like it was ripped straight from an original Game Boy, you fight monsters and hope to solve the secret as to why you are cursed to relive every 60 seconds. This isn't my type of indie game, but I know some people that would get a kick out of it. It leaves the store August 12th. Starting August 12th, the game Rebel Galaxy will be free to claim. This open world RPG will see you charting through space to explore the vast unknown, fight fearsome pirates and negotiate with the weird locals and discover all the riches that space has to offer. This is a really good pickup, so don't forget about it when it drops on August 12th. Now we have the Xbox Live titles that are free for this month. First is Darksiders 3, as you play as one of the four horsemen, Fury, as you try to hunt down the seven deadly sins with powerful magic and a whip. You'll be slashing your way through this title as you figure out the next chapter in the Darksiders franchise. It leaves the store on August 31st. Next up is the Xbox 360 game Lost Planet 3. The final game in the franchise, you fight giant monsters in this cold and unforgiving place. You will explore the land and try to survive the horrors that roam about. This time around, the game is more story driven than Lost Planet 2. If you want to take a step back into history, be quick as this game leaves the store August 15th. On August 16th, Ukulele and Guru Mark of the Wolves become free to claim. Guru, a classic fighting game from SNK, takes place 10 years after the death of Geese Howard from Fatal Fury. As such, a whole new cast of characters, new mechanics like Just Defend, that lets you restore health during a fight, and you can set up a power up point before a fight for an extra advantage later, and so much more. If you love fighting games, this is something you need to pick up. It leaves the store August 31st. And last is Ukulele. This game sees you playing as a chameleon with a bat on your head. I wish I could give you more than that, but this game doesn't really set itself apart from the rest of its class. It's similar to Banjo-Kazooie, but sadly doesn't really do its ancestors justice. But for kids, I think this is a golden pick. It leaves the store September 15th. Now we have the PS Plus lineup for this month. First we have Hunter Arena Legends, a PvP slash PvE hybrid battle royale that I'm sure won't die in 6 months time. Unlike most battle royales, this one is melee focused. I play it for a bit, it seems fun enough. You know, just play it while you can. We all know it's not gonna last. Next is Tennis World Tour 2. It's tennis. It's not really much to say about it. The sad part is, is that if you like tennis games, you probably already own this, and if you don't, why would you play this one? And finally, Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. The next installment in the series has all the fun from the first of these more open world games, but I can't help but feel like this would have made so much more sense as a MOBA like Smite than a third person shooter. But this game is truly fun and has a really crazy multiplayer if you can find a match. All these games leave the store in September. Last is Nintendo. You get Claymates, Jelly Boy, and Bomb Bazaar. I don't think these games ever leave the store, unlike games that are actually worth something like the Mario Collection, so I guess it's got that. <sighs> I don't know. If this video helped you out, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and if there's any places where they're giving out free games uh, monthly like this, please let me know in the comments so I can actually add it to the list for later. And you can follow me on Twitter at ShroudPanda and on Instagram at ShroudPanda for the latest news on everything that I'm doing next. So with that being said, stay frosty, till next time.